Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to focus on interpreting chromatograms which is going to look mainly at how you can calculate the retention factor and what information that gives you. The first thing you need to know then is the calculation for retention factor which is the distance moved by the spot divided by the distance moved by the solvent. Okay let's have a look at the example then. So here we've got a chromatogram you might be given the distances, you might not, so you might need to use a ruler. So what you do is you know it's spot divided by solvent, so 5, which is the distance the spot has moved, and 10, which is the distance of the solvent front. 5 divided by 10 is 0.5. Okay, let's have a look at a retention factor quiz then. So this one is very similar to one you'll have seen in the previous paper chromatography test, but it takes it a little bit further. It says a forger altered a check by changing the amount from 7,000 to 70,000, a forensic scientist carried out the paper chromatography on the ink from the altered part of the check and compared it to two suspects. The altered check had two spots with a retention factor of 0.3 and 0.7. Use the chromatogram to calculate the retention factor of the two suspect inks and use it to suggest which the criminal is. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video now, have a go at the question and then when you're ready unpause and see if you're correct. Okay, let's have a look then. So what we need to do is we need to have a look at both of the suspects. So let's start off with suspect A. We've got two points here at 2.5 and at 7. And then we've got the height the solvent reached, which is 15 centimetres. Now remember back to the calculation, it's the distance the spot moved divided by the solvent. So the first one is 2.5 divided by 15, which is 0.17. Straight away we can tell this is probably not going to be our suspect, but to answer the question fully we need to look through the rest of it. So spot 2, we have 7 divided by 15, which gives us 0.47. So it's fairly certain that suspect A is not the suspect, is not the criminal. But we need to make sure that suspect B is, because neither of them might be guilty. So here we look at the 4.5, we divide that by 15, and that gives me 0.3, which is a good start. The second spot... 10.5 divided by 15, which gives me 0.7. Both of them match up, so we can say that suspect B is our criminal. So you would get, if this was a three marker, one mark for working out suspect A's retention factor, one mark for suspect B, and then the third mark for using that information to say that suspect B was the criminal. Hopefully that's helped you with this video. What I'd like you to do is have a go at the review section which is describe how to produce a chromatogram, label the mobile and stationary phase and explain how to calculate the retention factor. You should be able to use the information from the couple of videos on paper chromatography to help you with this section. And that ends this video.